welcome back to TEW 2016, The Branding Solution. And we are on Shockwave, and we head straight into the pre-show matches, where we have Murphy and Blake defeat Warren Kavanagh and Andre Cool. Um, this is a simple match, again, I like to get that about most of my pre-show matches. I want to give Murphy and Blake a tag team win. Andre Cool and Warren Kavanagh are both in the Cruiserweight Qualifiers. Just not tonight. We will see who they're up against. We have Andre Cool will be facing Atami. And Warren Kavanagh will be facing Tyson Kidd. So there's a couple matches for the next couple of weeks. Um, we have a nice little squash match here where Braun Strowman beats Sanjay Dutt. Um, I'm going to try and push Braun. But I'm going to have to start on the pre-show until he starts improving. Because whenever he's with um, Tyler Breeze, has, he just makes the segment suck. Um, Mark Henry defeats Alexander Wolf. Uh, I thought I'd give Mark Henry a nice a win. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to use him for. And Alexander Wolf is very reliable from NXT. The Golden Truth defeat Miller and Fawn. Yes, that's right. Uh, Golden Truth finally won a match. Miller and Fawn are still getting better. Um, it's only a matter of time before they're on one of the rosters as a tag team. Kenny Omega defeats Kevin Kyle. Uh, yeah, got to keep Kenny Omega looking good. Um, Zack Sabre Jr. defeats No Way Jose. And he has already qualified for the next round when he beat Rich Swan in the Cruiserweights. We have another pre-show match where Shelton Benjamin defeats Elias Sampson. Um, a bit surprised how weak Benjamin is in performance. we got to get him either back up or out the door. It's as simple as that. And the main event, I believe, is Tyson Kidd defeating Rhino in another short match. Tyson Kidd, as we said, will be having a match against Warren Kavanagh in the next couple of weeks. We open the show with Oblivion Max thanking Shane McMahon for his opportunity to face his old nemesis, AJ Styles, for the World Shockwave Championship. When AJ Styles turns up and says... And brings the Bucks with him and says, Find yourself a tag team, us three, versus you and your friends if you can find any. It's the main event tonight. Yeah, I wanted to keep it simple, I didn't want it to be too much of an exchanging of words. So it's going to be three on three, and we'll see who Max finds as his partners. We start the show with the beginning of the Cruiserweights. Um, Cedric Alexander defeats Jack Evans with a roll up out of nowhere. Um, yeah, Cedric Alexander is going a little bit further. And after the match, Evans and Omega come out and attack Alexander, uh, Cedric Alexander. And Birdie makes the save. Now both Birdie and Omega are in this. Um, Omega will be facing Phoenix. And Adam Birdie's already through to the next round. Um, this is a triple threat for the number one contendership for the US title. Um, Nakamura defeats Apollo Crews to become the new number one contender. So Bobby Roode keeps missing out on title matches. He's not having another US title match yet. And afterwards he attacks Apollo Crews blaming him for the loss because he was the one that got pinned, not rude. Pentagon Jr. defeated Koto Ishami. Um, this was another one of those cruiserweight matches. Pentagon Jr. advances to the next round. In the interview segment, Stone Cold has the revival on and they discuss how they're not going to let this tag team title shot slip through their hands like they did last time. So they're warning the prime time players they're going to actually win it this time round. 
and we have a nice little four on four. Um, not going to be a great match, let's be honest, but it's Fandango, Mojo Rawley and the Lucho Dragons versus Tyler Breeze, Zack Ryder and the Vaudevillains. Um, we have two storylines going on, because Breeze has finished with Fandango now. Uh, Breeze is moving on to another storyline. He isn't going to start that storyline until after the next pay-per-view. So we're going to have to just keep him keeping his faction good because I put the board villains in the tag team turmoil with um, the Lucho Dragons and Blake and Murphy and we've got a little grudge match between Mojo Rawley and Zack Ryder coming up in the next Stone Cold interview segment it's Cody Rhodes explaining how he is tired of CM Punk getting all these title shots all these attempts to become the next face of the company and it when he beats him, he will become the new face of the company. Now, there's a nice A rating. Cody Rhodes and Punk are going to go for it. Um, I've put together another triple threat match. This is for the European number one contendership. And Okada defeats Adam Cole with the Rainmaker. Uh, it keeps Bubba and Adam Cole looking for their own rivalry. Um, and Okada versus Cesaro. If that's going to happen, and Cesaro attacks and floors Okada. I think that could be a hell of a match. In real life, anyway. Next up, we have Randy Orton defeat Drew McIntyre with an RKO. Yeah, it's just what we need. And after Rusev comes out to attack Orton, he finds himself at the Mercy of another RKO. And Randy Orton stands over him. Calling him stupid. Like Randy Orton would. We have a third interview segment of the night. Well, Stone Cold did boost John Cena. Uh, have he, he's beaten Brock Lesnar now. And Brock Lesnar won't let it lie. He's just going to have to walk into the hell in the cell. And beat him one more time. The main event, which is absolutely awful for the main event, um, he found the Briscoe brothers to help him. And Oblivion Max and the Briscoe brothers win when uh, Oblivion pins Matt Jackson after Luke Gallows accidentally hits Jackson. AJ Styles single handedly carried this match. Um, you can't really, I'm just so disappointed how weak the match looked. Um, Enough was AJ Styles sends a warp message to Max. Um, and we can see the club bickering again in the background. This is going to be a terrible show. I think we're going to get about a 70. A 75. I'll take that because this is all building rather than just using the, the big names to get the easy ratings. We've got to build people up slowly. And Oblivion Max is my latest attempt to build someone. I could just have Rusev, Orton, Cena, Brock, Cody, Punk, and AJ in the main two events, or even Bobby Roode, and we're guaranteed ratings. But we need to put other people in them for longer term saves. So we'll come back to the main screen and see where we stand. And we've made it back to the main screen, so we'll see what's happening in the world. We got praise, it wasn't our best show. Uh, if we look at our history in a minute, we'll see. Um, great. Stone Cold has failed the drug policy. What the hell? We'll find him. Yeah. I don't care. He was about to get a new contract, but it's not paid for her appearance. Do I give her a new contract? Rhino needs time to heal. And these two are moaning even though they've won a match at last. Andre who I accept. I will sort them out in a minute. As for the storylines on Shockwave, the Beast Unleashed, the Cruiserweights, the European. They're all... Number one contender is pretty much my highlight. Welcome is down the toilet. 
so they're all solid, they're not great. Um, Kenny Omega is now on the top of that. Kevin Owens, good to see Nakamura. Um, Andre Cools made that list that yeah, whatever. Um, when we look at the history of the shows, if we went down through them, we'll see like 75. It was a poor Smackdown because I tried the same thing then. We've had quite a lot of 80s recently, so that was a weak spell and then suddenly we improved a lot. So, we're going in the right direction. Um, that will finish this one and we'll be back with Night of Champions next time around. So remember, if you want to, let's just show you. This is the card. Um, who do you want, who do you think will win? Leave the comments in the box below. Thanks for watching.